So today we're going to talk about how not to build career AI projects. So whenever I go around and I try to build these things, you know, whenever I learn something that I think is valuable, even if it's fairly simple, I like to share with you guys. I like to share the lessons that I learned. I like to share the obstacles that I overcame and I like to pass on that knowledge on how I did it so that it can be that much easier for you all. But just like anybody else, I find myself, you know, making silly mistakes. I find myself getting frustrated and I also find myself overestimating the capacity of AI. I know that sometimes when I get very excited by an idea, I really just want to rush to the end result so that I can make it, put it together and then share it with you guys. And because of the rushing, because of the desperation, a thing that really should have only taken a few minutes ended up taking a few hours. So let me tell you what happened. So here you have this project that I know we've been working on together. Originally, this project was only meant to analyze the YouTube comments, as you can see right here. But after we finished the part where we were able to analyze the YouTube comments, I wanted to add another part where we we're also able to analyze the YouTube transcript. You know, I woke up in the morning. I was super excited for this. I was like, I'm going to give it the transcript. I'm also going to take the comments into consideration. I'm going to use Crew AI to pretty much come up with some video ideas once that the transcript and the comments for that video have been analyzed. Now, because this part of the project had already been done, I was pretty confident about extending the rest of it because I already knew how to do the YouTube API part. I already knew how to do the data processing part. It was really just going to be a matter of maybe altering the way that the agents process the transcript and maybe splitting that up. And then ideally we get to a point where we give it a whole YouTube playlist and then it does multiple of these iterations. And at that point, we pretty much automated the video content idea for specific niches or specific video types that you're trying to work on. And I'll tell you right now, I didn't get to this part of the five video ideas. I didn't even get to this part where I start analyzing the video transcript along with the comments. It took me hours to just finish up this part where we extract and format the YouTube transcript. And again, this goes back to what I was saying of like just becoming a little bit frustrated and becoming a little desperate to get things done as quickly as possible. So what I ended up doing was I pretty much just gave ChatGPT the code that I had for the current project. And I was very straightforward about it. I said I want to also pull these transcripts, also want to format the transcripts, also want to analyze the transcript, and then I also want to generate the five video ideas and, you know, I try to be quote unquote as detailed as possible for this prompt. I just started getting a lot of errors. I started getting output that I didn't like. I started getting timeout due to the token limits. And I just ended up restarting multiple chats because again, I just wanted to get the result in my head. I was like, this is very simple. It's very straightforward. This is really just a rewrite of, you know, the current code that I had. But again, that didn't take away from the fact that in this overestimation that I had for the output that I was expecting from ChatGPT, had I just slowed it down a bit and taken it a few steps at a time, just focus on how to pull the transcript and make sure that that was being done correctly how to format the transcript, making sure that that's also being done correctly, how to save it to a file, how to then break it up, how to then analyze each part, how to make sure that each task or agent was doing this appropriately. Then even if I didn't get to this last part, I would have still made substantially more progress and I would have also learned a lot more stuff on the way. Now, I know I'm not teaching anything groundbreaking or anything innovative in this video, but that's kind of the point. Regardless how quote unquote easy our lives are made by AI, whenever you try to make something new or learn something new, there's always going to be times where you're going to feel stuck, you're going to feel frustrated, you're going to feel like you're making no progress. But I think anytime you find yourself in those low points, that's when you know you're going in the right path of learning something that's valuable. Now, in my experience, one of the most efficient ways that I've been able to speed up and scale my progress is by working alongside others that had similar goals. And that's why I created a school community so that those of you that feel like you don't have a heavy technical background and you're still interested in learning AI can be around people that are also working on other projects. And that way when you have days when you get stuck like this, you don't have to feel like you're all alone. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.